Other health news tonight. Groundbreaking research being done on the brain at the University of Victoria. We first told you about this on A&E's a few months ago. UVic researchers have developed a new technology that shows how multiple parts of the right brain dynamically process spatial relationships. And now the researchers are taking this to the next level. Maggie Cox has the story new at 6. There you go. How does that feel? Comfy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cutting-edge brain research is happening right here on Vancouver Island. And so we put the sensors on the head. We get a data representation of the brain activity, uh, which looks like this. Researchers at the University of Victoria are using what looks like a bathing cap, a video game, and brand new software to better understand how the brain works. Brain activity has been one of these elusive things over the years, and we're slowly learning more, and we're learning more very quickly, so this is you know, a fortunate time to be involved with this. Dr. Phil Zeman has spent the last seven years developing software that measures brainwave activity and monitors how different parts of the brain interact. This helps us understand the brain as a complete uh, working system, um, you know, and in contrast uh, to just trying to interpret these uh, sort of uh, complex waveforms that we uh, measure from the cap itself. The participant sits over on this side playing a video game wearing the electrodes on his or her head. Meanwhile, the researcher is sitting over here monitoring and collecting information and afterwards they'll analyze the data. The information is useful in understanding how the right brain works, including why people with brain injuries have difficulty with spatial navigation and how pharmaceuticals such as antidepressants affect the brain. And now Zeman is looking to market this technology to drug companies. What this has opened up is uh, an avenue for doing continued uh, uh, altruistic research with the universities to understand the, the, the brain disorders and diseases uh, and a revenue model uh, working with drug companies to uh, create treatments. So far, Zeman says there has been interest from a large international drug company. For more information, visit spatialbrain.com. At the University of Victoria, Maggie Cox, A News.